NASA has a pretty good grip on solar cells and electricity in space. But how does that help us back here on Earth? There are tons of companies out there right now that are using the same technology that NASA is using to develop solar cells so we can use them in our homes. So you want to know how we can use some of these technologies in our homes? Hey man, you're in luck. I'm here in Washington, D.C. at the National Mall checking out something called the Solar Decathlon. This is a competition consisting of 20 college and university teams to design and operate the most attractive and energy efficient solar powered house. So why does a competition like this exist? In our daily lives, we use enormous amounts of energy. The world consumes about 450 quadrillion BTUs of energy each year. Yeah, that's a lot. Right now, about 86% of that comes from burning fossil fuels like petroleum, coal, and natural gas, which are not renewable, and they cause pollutants that can cloud the air. Here in the States, we consume about a quarter of the Earth's energy per year, and about 21% of that is used in our homes. Now, that's a lot of energy. But there are many simple ways that we can learn to save energy. And there are simple ways to generate energy from renewable sources, such as the sun. So that's what the Solar Decathlon is all about, using clean energy from the sun. I checked out a few houses here, including the amazing house from Georgia Tech. Why don't you tell me a little about this? Tell me what's going on here. This is a competition sponsored by the Department of, Ener uh, Department of Energy. They invite 20 schools to participate in a student-run competition where the students design and build uh, 800 square feet of uh, a house, a solar home that's run entirely by solar power. It's an off-grid house and we are here to participate in that. Can you give me some uh, examples of what this, uh, this, this house is made of? Well, one of the uh, prime instigators of our design was to allow as much light into the house as possible to maximize the uh, power which actually um, allows the photovoltaics to work. So the um, elements of innovation that we've uh, started uh, looking into was uh, the use of aerogel, which is a highly insulating but highly crystalline and light transmissive insulation. What are photovoltaic cells and how do they work? Well, these are uh, solar cells that capture solar radiation and transfer it to electricity. And you see all the homes, that's what they're required to use. That's the whole premise of this competition. One of our mottos was conventional systems creating an unconventional house. So what you see here in terms of technologies, which if you take a look around the back door, okay. most of the technologies that we've used in this house or brought into this house are off-the-shelf, high-efficiency systems. The key thing that we are trying to bring forward here is that the bang for the buck flies in how you use them over time. So we've spent a lot of time developing a control system that is uh, that both educates and forces a user to be aware of how these things are being used and to be able to use them at the optimum level because that's what makes the efficient house.